What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to start right now. And we're going to be playing this Party at Dracuseth's uh, deck. Um, this is a sponsored stream. Wizards of the Coast is uh, generously sponsoring this. And uh, they sent us a bunch of packs and a bunch of codes to give away. So you guys are going to have some codes that I'm going to give away in the chat. And uh, these, are, these are not one per account. So if you guys end up getting multiples of them... That should be fine. Uh, they're up to 10 per account. And there are, I have 100 of them, so there's a lot. I'm going to copy them into a document. And then I'll just shoot them into the thing when they're when they're good. New codes. Do, 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 do. All right. So, thank you very much to Wizards of the Coast. You guys are amazing. Um, and... This is a deck that John Medina, you guys might know John Medina, he was a finance guy in the magic community. He also co-hosted a podcast with me called Untapped. So um, that was pretty sweet. We did an Untapped podcast uh, with Trick Jarrett, who now works at Wizards of the Coast. And this deck has four copies of Dracuseth in it. Um, so the deck has four Line of War Elves, four Glow Spore Shaman, and four Thought Erasure, obviously. Very, uh, this is basically a Sultai deck, and you're splashing for this sick-ass dragon, so I don't know what, what, you, what more you can ask for. And uh, make sure you guys can hear me okay. Uh, four Tomebound Lich and four Risen Reef in the three spot. Four Blood for Bones and four Tamio in the four spot. Two Cavalier of Night, two Cavalier of Thorns in the five spot, and then Dracu Seth. Um, one thing John mentioned was that instead of Blood for Bones, he didn't actually know about Bond of Revival. Uh, which returns a creature from the graveyard and gives it haste. Uh, haste could be extremely relevant with Dracuseth because you want to be able to attack with it. You don't want to be like, put my Dracuseth into play, go. You really want to just be able to swing with this dude as soon as he comes out. So we're going to actually try it with Bond instead. It's one, it's one more mana. But it seems to fit our plan a little better. Uh, John had actually admitted he was like, oh, I didn't know that existed. So that's the only reason that he didn't play it, I would imagine. And he said he, he himself is also testing with it, so... We'll see. Either way, the deck looks sweet. So we have two Veil of Summer, two Noxious Grasp, three Ritual of Soot, four Shifting Ceratops, which are very, very good, two Carnage Tyrant, and two Agent of Treachery, which are pretty sweet. So all in all, I'm going to export this deck, and I'm going to put it into the stream decker so you guys have something to look at. Three triple color spells and different. Well, no, there's only two. You're not. You're never casting Dracu Seth. How do I? Okay, so I don't have a text file. How do I just upload these to Stream Decker? That's my question. Paste deck list. Perfect. So the deck is M20 Party at Dracu Seth. Submit. Uh, yep. Set is current. Sounds good. Ah. Alright. See how this deck does. Traditional ranked. I'm in. Let's do it. Also, I'm going to throw out some codes. Hope you guys are ready. Oh, man. Did you see it? It's in the chat right now, guys. Get it. Only got 99 left, so. Actually, five days, I'm in 100, it's so 20 a day, about. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, so. Play first. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. It's slow, but we got a 3 drop. Why did you just copy and paste that same code? What's that? What are you doing right now? Um,. Blood for Bones is tricky because it can repeat enters the... Is tricky because it can repeat? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? What are you, say, what are you saying right now? I'm expert coder. <laughs> it makes me wonder if you tried to enter it into Arena, but then you accidentally pasted it into chat instead. Because that would be funny. I feel like we can easily discard a Tamio here. Let's 
This guy's great. This guy has death touch. Did you know about death touch, guys? It kills anything. Anything at all. What are the codes for? The codes for uh, the codes are good for a pack of war and let me check. No, they're M20, not war. Um Yeah, they're just they're just codes for M20 packs. Um, you know what? I don't know how I feel about this. Just take four. If we take four, like I'd rather be able to block here, but then they're gonna draw more cards. Next turn we can play a Tamio to get back. If Tamio goes to yeah, actually we can block here. Cause Tamio can go up to six. Billy, what's going on, my dude? Uh oh, it's your boy. It's your boy. What is it? Whatever that means. Alright, so let's see. Hmm. See, right now we already have green, 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 and two black. So let's get Cavalier of Thorns, I guess. And by get, I mean, let's try to draw it. We did not. If we said Cavalier of Night, we better shape. That's sad. I'm having a sad. I just wish I could default my cat to blue. Is there a way to default this cat to blue? This is interesting. You're communing when you have three lands. Fascinating. Oh, I've got spurs that jingle jingle. Be careful with clicking the cat. Oh yeah, I'm not, yeah, but I'm not like spamming it by any means. Why make low man blue? Well, you know. Uh, let's try to hit Cavalier again. Oh, actually. Cavalier of Thorns. If we hit a Dracu Seth, we could actually we can still get Dra we can get the Cavalier back, right? That's pretty cool. I really want this guy in the graveyard. I don't think it's I don't think it's Risen Reef. What do we have to sacrifice another creature, right? I don't have another creature. But I wish I did. Oh. I'm game. Let's take a gander at that hander. Uh, Ceratops is great. Alpha's probably a little better than Ceratops. We'll take the Alpha. Uh, I don't want that even though it does give us the fifth black for Cavalier. Um, so they're both going it? Interesting. Well, I'll just block the Tamio guy then. They didn't give this haste. That's interesting. You get to save the Tamio? Hmm. I mean, I'm still going to try to get a Dracu Seth in the yard, and if we get, if we end up getting a Cavalier of Thorns in the meantime... Dang it. Dang it, Dick. What are you doing? Um. Hmm. I guess just Risen Reef again? I don't know. We're at 17. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Tamio minus to get back to just get back a Tonebound Lich was a little. I, it just didn't feel, it didn't feel great. Is this two lands? There's one with a shadow. I think it's one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, now we have enough lands to cast everything. Still, this is a better attack because now they're forcing me to block the Rip Draw Raptor to draw them a card. So we take eight, huh? Yeah, this is fine. 
What are the discard outlets available in this deck? Uh, Tomebound Lich. Tamio helps get cards in the yard. And you can technically Thought Erasure yourself. No, you can't because it's opponent. Well, Tamio goes to one. But we're mostly using Tamio as a way to... Uh... No, Tamio dies. Why did I think she goes to one there? Oh my god, this is so many Tamios. Hey, look at that. We finally hit one. I think we're 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we're actually dead, though. So, that's sad. There's nothing... I mean, like... We could have bonded for one guy. But I don't know. That's probably better. It, we probably don't die if we do that. But I really just wanted the deck to do what it does. Uh, target green creature or white creature is really where I want to be. Discarding from hand is the only way to do it. Um... Yeah, it's probably just Tonebound Lich, which I think is fine. Like, I don't think you're going to get too many Draki sets in hand. Oh, I like the I like that surveil puts it in the graveyard too. That's nice. Oh well, we were looking for a land there, but I guess uh, not today. Guess we're just dead to rotting Regisaur here. <laughs> yeah, cool. This is a fun round one. Let's try to play a game of magic where they let us participate. That sounds like it's like that sounds like it'd be fun. God, this one Draki set in every opening hand is pretty brutal. Yeah, this is better. This is good. So we can actually get rid of Watery Grave, probably. Let's get this guy out there. I like that they're like, this is what you just drew. You can clearly just see it in your hand, but we're just going to show you anyway. Oh, can we play double Grow Spore Shaman? Glow Spore? Grow Spore? This puts a land on top? Who cares about that? 
decline. <laughs> so we have a green, we need black. All right, uh, pay two life. Wow, nothing. Literally two bonds and four lands. That's a yikes for me, dog. Anyway, to pitch a drag. We already went over this. Literally. Tomebound Lich, I think it's called. Well. Sorry, wasn't listening. Oh, God. I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna bond a revival on a stupid risen reef. That seems bad. Is this deck running search for the counter? It is not, but I do like that as an option. Dimitri, welcome back. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five. Well, Lilian, Nissa is. Oh, wow. And raise four runners. Chase those memes. I hope you guys are getting these codes. The land shall <laughs> oh, never did the have it. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Do they all get trample? Of course they do, right? Wow. Jesus, losing to Crater Hoof Behemoth in standard. What a time to be alive. Well, I guess we're using uh, Ritual, so it seems good here, too. I like Bond. If we can just get a Drachy Sith out, I'm, I feel like we're in good shape. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I will play first. I will... This hand's awkward because I really don't want to... Ritual of Sit against my elves. So I think when you bring in the rituals, you probably take the elves out. Maybe. I'll keep it. We can just play around Ritual of Sit. Thoughts on cutting a temple or two for a lotus field on the off chance they cast it? Oh, actually, that's an interesting suggestion. Actually, that's not bad. 
I kind of don't hate that. Do you think the worm is a good reanimate target? What's the what? I don't even know what the worm is. Tell me about the worm. Palaka worm? Oh, we don't have blood for bones. We have, we have bond of revival. So. Maybe play both. Well, considering we haven't been able to reanimate one thing yet, I'm really not. Uh, I'm really not high on playing two different reanimate spells when we haven't actually been able to reanimate one thing yet. Thank you. So, I think I'm more concerned with reanimating one thing than than adding more reanimation spells. Juposhi, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back. Thank you so much for the resub. I mean, Stitcher Supplier is just literally the, almost the same as Glow Spore, except it's... Oh, I've done the hero. I mean, we have eight reanimate targets. I don't think we're short on reanimate targets. We have four Cavaliers and four Dracu sets. Oh my god. Bobby Butter's here, ready to croon your little biscuits into the most turgid of stupors. Oh, baby Bert, you got a wide mouth. <laughs> what? Why? I'm always looking for Cavalier here, so... No Cavaliers were hit this day. Um... Come at me, bro. He's like, buddy, I got lands. I don't even care about this stupid elf. Here goes nothing. Okay, I'm back. Oh, good, Anissa. What a turgid stupor. What a turgid stupor is right. Yep. Your aggression is noted. Hey, look, we hit this. It's not land, right? Yeah, of course it is. I guess we can get a Hinterland Harbor back, play Cavalier of Thorns. That's not terrible. <laughs> Alternatively, we can try to put a Dracu Seth in the yard and then just go ham. Uh, but then we'd have to hit a land. No, we need another land for that, so... I guess... Yeah, let's just do this. I have learned much from my wow. Literally did not hit a Dracuseth or a land. That's that's actually incredible. How many lands are in this deck? That's the question I wanna I wanna answer here. Twenty-four lands. Seems like it should be enough. I fell into a turgid stupor of fire. We went down, 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 and the stupor took me higher. No stupor of fire. Stupor of fire. I 
Only for a Crassus, not bad. Not bad. No, I am not making this up as I go. Come at me, bro. This guy's worse now because this is at seven, this is at six, so it's like I mean we can take out land land Tefri, which is actually pretty good. If we had a way to get this into the graveyard. That's our biggest Actually, Ritual of seems insane here, doesn't it? Thank you. Sure. You guys have Hexproof now. Weird flex, but okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to figure... I'm trying to con convince myself that this is just the... Um, what do you call it? Like, it's just... Statistics, right? Like... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I apologize on behalf of... Well, someone has to. Oh, look at this. This is great. What does this kill? Literally everything but God Eternal Oketra. Well, shoot. One, two. So we could sack this guy to destroy what? God Eternal Oketra? It's actually not terrible. We really don't want them to ultimate this though, but I don't think we really have a choice here. I guess. Is there anything we want to put on top, really? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, hmm. I guess we, you know, we'll put Lich back on top, and then we'll... Sure, dude. You got it. Cool. Okay, so... Things I would change. Cavalier seems like it's been difficult to cast, but I'm not sure if that's mana base related. There's four Overgrown, four Woodland, four Drowned, and four Watery Grave. So we actually have all of the way we have we have more black and green sources than anything else. Four, eight, twelve, thirteen green sources, fourteen green sources. Black we have four, eight, twelve, sixteen, seventeen. And then blue we have four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, we have more black than any other source. Oh, 
Oh wow, you may be onto something with that rotting registor. That sounds legit. It might be better than Risen Reef here, to be quite honest. But I do like the ramp capability of Risen Reef. Rotting Registor seems like gas. Actually, I would even take out the Glowspore Shamans. Because you already have Tonebound Lich and... Uh, what was the other card that mills? Like Cavalier of Thorns mills. Oh, Tamiyo. Tamiyo mills pretty well. Yeah, I'm kind of unimpressed by Risen Reef. It's just kind of like either draw a card or... Um, oh, look, and Risen Reef is the... Well, we can't have you be the, the face of the deck anymore. I'm sorry. I think Reef with just with just Reef is good, but it's not doing anything to further our plan of reanimating Dracuseth. Take me higher. And take me higher. Let's mulligan this hand. Let's keep this. Wow, triple bond of revival. Jesus. I guess we'll put a bond of revival back. However, if we get. If we hit a Dracuseth or something cool with this guy, then. Alright. Yeah, and there's not even a guarantee that you're going to ramp to four. Like, you could actually just. Oh, um, yeah, we'll just play that so we don't take any. I don't want to lose any hit points here, so. Oh, two Dracusiths! Do I even take this? Uh, I'm going to decline for now because we do have the option to do it with this next one. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to throw another code out here for you guys. So oh, my name is Darset. I'm gonna play a sp I'm playing Baba Biology Teacher and I'm playing a Spur Control against the U O Go Two three Yeah, I still don't want any lands here. We got five lands here. Well, they're gonna take one, so I guess we're hoping they don't have two thought erasures. Well, that's one down. One down. If you cut the green and add Stitcher Supplier and, and Little Teferi, you can ram it at instant speed. Maybe you can. Oh my god. I hate this game. I totally I was like, oh my god. Still have much to run. Now we have to now we have to hit a land because we just oh god, I totally forgot about the stupid Narset. I was like, why why not draw a card? Hey, we did it. All right. Well, magic's hard. Oop! Can we not have them have Kaya's Wrath? Of course not. Why would they not have that? Everybody has the one of four in their deck every single time.
Yes, you can target with face. So I could have went face, and then I just submitted none. Yeah, they'd be at one right now. Wow. Well, now they'd be at four. Wait, you can target the face twice? I don't think so. I think you can only target once. Because it says any two other targets, right? Uh, four damage to any target, three damage to, to two other targets. Yeah, so you can only deal... You can only deal... You can only deal one of these targets to the face. You can't go face, face. Four damage to any target. So I choose their face. Three damage to each of up to two other targets. So I'm pretty sure it's only one for the face. Um, let's look for... I guess it doesn't really matter. Like, we can't cast anything this turn, and next turn we're probably going to just... I guess I don't know what we're going to do. I guess we'll just get a Cavalier of Thorns. Four lands. All right. I'll protect you. Still love playing against this deck. Still an absolute blast. Just the most fun you can have playing Magic the Gathering, I think. I feel like I just want to board out all the boring stuff like glow spore shamans and th actually glow spore is a decent threat cavalier of night seems worse than like carnage tyrants i don't think tome bound lich is at its best here so but if we have a dracu set in hand how do we get it into the graveyard Register. Mulligan. Oh boy. Guess I'll keep this five. Put you and put you. Hopefully to fewer Teferis. Yeah, well, that's all I that's all I could ask for, I guess. Uh, I mean, we could play this because they know about it, but I'm just going to play this because I don't want to take two damage for nothing, so.
I mean, it makes me wonder if I just want four Cavalier of Thorns to put things in the graveyard. I also do like the Lotus Field. It's a Lotus Field suggestion a lot. I think that was very good. I think you will find my That's a yikes for me, dog. Well, next turn we can get a Carnage Tyrant back if this still exists. Put on top, sure. If we get a bond and pitch something cool in our yard, we get that. Sorry, right, but if we just get the card we're trying to get, then we also get to just cast that card. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Yeah, I definitely think you want to maximize your Cavaliers because you have four Tamios. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Jesus. 500 yikes bits is right. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. See, now I think Bond is... Actually, we can probably just get Bond back, right? I follow the tracks of the wise. Oh yeah, anticipate, buddy. So we can actually go four to face, three to Tefri. That's actually pretty solid. Okay, all attack, your face, one attacker. Uh, your face and your Tef. See, that was pretty good. Do they not have an answer for this? I mean, I have a feeling that he might have... Okay, sure. Decline. Well. Yeah, I had a feeling that we are going to either do that or have, like, a Tyrant Scorn to bounce it.
Man, if only that was a thought, a thought erasure. That would have been great. Sure. Yep. Tyrant Scorn can't bounce it? Why not? Tyrant Scorn can bounce it. We're talking about Drakki stuff, not not the not the shifting ceratops. What? That's interesting. Oh, I just took this. Ascanto would have been a better play for sure. Well, that's good. Uh, is there a reason we aren't playing Search for Ascanto? None, none that I can think of. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. Could just be Agent of Treachery again for next turn, which seems pretty good. Alternatively... Do they have no cards in hand? Yeah, I do kind of like Regisaur here. I mean, it just forces them to either have an answer in the top two cards. Top three cards, I guess. Which is likely, but not extremely possible. Keep up the pace. Maybe it's another agent of treason. Or agent of treachery, rather. Yeah, okay. Yeah, in that situation, like, Agent of Treachery does the same thing as Ceratops in the, in the sense that it gets rid of their blocker. So they go to nine. Oh, I guess they just get to kill Tamio. Sure.
mean, we're just gonna kill Tefri here. Decline. I will not be putting any lands on top of my library today, good sir. Kerwood, what's going on? I'm going to toss you guys another code in the chat. Boom. Oh, Akaya's Wrath. How nice. How nice. Be sure to kill my 10 power worth of creatures. You did. Do we have one bond left? Carnage Tyrant. Well, this is still lethal, because the trample tramples over for four. So, that's pretty good. Yep, that doesn't do it. That's pretty interesting. Uh, okay, so how do they deal with this? They go to... Hmm. Yeah, if we take Tef, we can't draw. But, like, I don't think we have great options otherwise. Okay, you're just dead. <laughs> thank you. And Faden, thank you so much for the sub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um. I think it's fine like this. That can't peel up, so it's great. You done messed up, A. A. Ron. <laughs> Scootin' do 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 do. See what you got here. Oath of Kaya is annoying. Aethergust and D Spark are pretty annoying. That art's great though. Uh, Bell Haunt is also. And all these cards are annoying. Every card in this deck is annoying. Let me get rid of the Bell Haunt. Oh, Regisaur. Yeah, you can keep that on top. We can go Registar into Ceratops, which seems good when we know they don't really have a great answer for it. Aethergust doesn't do it. Oath of Kaya doesn't do it. D-Spark doesn't do it. Registar might be like...
play this guy. Hold on one second. So D Spark does does get rid of this guy, unfortunately. So they're probably gonna take. Oh, they didn't. They didn't take the other Ceratops. Interesting. So now they have one answer for Ceratops, but not two answers for Ceratops. Well, we're for sure either playing this guy, but they're probably gonna D Spark this guy. So I guess we can play a second one. Force them to just have things. This keeps up breeding pool, sure. Oh, you. All right. Let's give you haste. Well, that's weird. That's a weird little glitch. What's going on here? Oh, God. The Ceratops is here to stay, guys. I notice a flaw in your gameplay that might result in better results. When faced with the opportunity to accurately predict the worst possible outcome, don't do it. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. It feels weird that I actually haven't thought of that yet. Uh, take action to put on top. That sounds fine. Okay, well, you still can't deal with shifting cer ceratopsies. So you just get to kill Tefri here? That's pretty good. Now what? Oh, we hit a land this time. Sounds good. Your eyes aren't very googly today. Wow. So Kerwood actually bought me these. So, just in case you guys are curious, this is the kind of stuff Kerwood buys and sends me. Lots of threats hit in the graveyard. Well, we just have to dodge Kai's Wrath, I guess. Well, now our odds are less likely considering they get to look at four. Thank you. I've got time. Oh, they're gonna just they're gonna they're gonna do it on my turn. That's cool. Well, you better do it. Interesting. So they take six? That's interesting. Mm 
Well, that's something, all right. What can we put on top? So I think it's got to be Tamio. We get, we name Bond. I really wish this, I wish this shifting Ceratops would go away. All right. One, two, three, four. The past is never forgotten. I guess we should have named Bond. That's what we should have done. Oh, good. It didn't give me enough. It didn't leave enough mana up to play both of these. That's fantastic. That's great. So now instead of having... That's fantastic. Well, I guess I should have regular tapped there. Instead of relying on the auto tap. That's more like it. Just one going at Tamio. Interesting. Yeah, no blocks. My research has been compromised. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, I guess. All things considered, they have one card. Is this game? Is it possible they don't have an answer? Okay. <laughs> oh, it never fails. Never fails. Oh, now they just bounce our guy. Yeah, cool. Cool. I had a good time. I had a good time. Hope you guys had a good time, too. I think we're like... Oh, a million with this deck. Is Mike be sleeping or working? He's currently sleeping and he'll be going to work around four, I presume. I presume, I'm gonna take these ears off because these are ridiculous, but I wanted you guys to see the kind of things Kerwit just sends me. Okay, so we're also gonna keep making changes. I like Lotus Field a lot. Put two of those bad boys in here. Um, we can take out the swamp and the f island, I think. Um. Thank you. Hi, Bob. Thank you so much for the, for the Risa, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I like the Regisar. Um. Oh yeah, I want to go full on Cavalier of Thorns. Thorns. Cavalier of Thorns. 
Do I not have Cavaliers? Wow, I guess I'll craft them. Yeah, these seem good enough to craft. Oh, Search for Esconta seems good too, yeah. I can see putting... I can see putting Search for Esconta in the deck somewhere. Search. I think it might be better than Glow Spore Shaman. Alright, let's try it like this. Just gonna keep on keep on making changes. Thank you. this hand wow honesty stream does Kurt terrify you no way Kurt is actually super cool dude Kurt and i talk a lot outside of stream as well and uh we actually like a lot of the same things in terms of like art and stuff so we're uh, like we're we, i think we regularly send each other like messages like in terms of like fine art and things it's super cool Kurt's a great dude um right you like this hand <laughs> should i just keep this like big novelty ears yeah like this is actually uh this is actually just this just makes me the art right this is life imitating art imitating imitating life really so i'm gonna ship it uh this is actually much better you like how i was like i want to take these ears off because they're ridiculous and then i just put them right back on yeah we'll keep this i'm gonna put the bond away Oh man, come on. Are you just gonna shoot? What? Wow. Having this guy survive a turn is surprising to me. Um, this is how the Lion King song goes. Um, the awkward thing about Lotus Field is that you do a lot of two color cards in the deck, but that being the case, enemies, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I might just get rid of Lotus Field. Cause I think here it's it's kind of awkward. I think it's just worse than Breeding Pool in this in this particular hand. One to the face. Oh, they're gonna light up the stage because they need they need to hit lands here. And they did not hit any lands. Ugh. Cringe City. As you see, I got a cringe of 103. I modded once. Worst mod. <laughs> Why are you like this? Um, Let's get rid of Thought Erasure. Let's play Reginald. And we'll play Breeding Pool. And I think 7-6 is probably going to be a little outside of their... Uh, outside of their range. More like Mono Dead, am I right? No, I think you are right. I think that's correct. I think you meant that as a joke, but it was actually a factual statement, Brett, Brett sir. Oh, look, they played a little, little Scorchy Boy. I don't think that's going to do it. I will be satisfied if our first win comes against the red deck. No, that's a little too late, buddy. Uh, let's get rid of... Oh, I'll get rid of this guy because we're not looking like we're going to be able to cast him anywhere. Uh, let's actually attack first, because if we hit something good for, like, four or less, like a Tamiyo, we can actually just play the Tamiyo. Oh, biscuits. Well, so we're going to have to discard something. I'll discard this guy. We can play the land... And then we're gonna have to discard this next turn, but it does give us four land. Two lava coils. Yeah, I guess two lava coils would do it. Or two I mean two anything really. Two uh two lightning strikes even. Okay, so this is a this is what's known as a, a mono red deck, guys, in case you didn't know. This is way this means they only play red cards. 
and uh, they like to play cards that cost three or less. So, what do we say to the red deck? Not today. Is Ritual so good against them? I feel like it's decent against them. I'll take out two Glowspore Shamans, bring in two Rituals. I think our sideboard's not particularly great against them, but we, we, do, we do play red cards too, I guess. I'll keep this hand. I don't love it. Make them hit your creatures with red cards instead of... That's actually... That's a good plan, actually. That's, like, my goal whenever I play red decks. Whenever they kill something, I'm like, sounds good. Especially if I got value. If it's, like, a ravenous chupacabra and they have to lightning strike it, I'm just like... Perfect. Beautiful. Uh... Yeah, alright. Well, next turn we get to play Reggie. And this guy has lifelink, which it's only a 1-3, but it's still lifelink. I just gained three. That's exactly how you look at it, yeah. Hey, man, that's three damage that didn't go to my face. That's all I care about. Uh, what's Reggie? This is where they're like active trees in your Reginald. This is nice, though, because we can actually put creatures in the graveyard and then bond of revival them. Or we can just cast them, I guess. A lot of spitters here. You got spit fire, spitter. Lots of spits here. We could also just Ritual of Soap, but it kills Reggie. Reggie, no! That's a yikes for me, dog. Let's play this guy. Let's get rid of Tamio here. We can play this, and then next turn we can try to... We can get rid of Ritual, try to Bond of Revival, our Cavalier, which has Reach, which is relevant against Spitty Boy. Oh, well, that's just rude. I'll take three. Get rid of Ritual. And we'll get this guy back. 5-6 Reach just seems pretty... Oh, Lotus Field? Let's do that. Let's get rid of Watery Grave and Drown Catacomb. Hot-blooded, I can see. I've got a Spitfire, it's a 1-3. That cat purring is too much. Yeah, the thing... <laughs> the thing about the cat is that, like... It's actually, like, a really kind of, like, very accurate purr. And I feel like if I had, like, headphones on... Like, it's a very... It's a very ASMR-esque purr. Okay. Alright, you got little buddies. Yes, it's very soothing. I want to click it, but I'm actually scared of like the. Wait, where are these hearts coming from? Did I did I win its favor? Did I did I win this little kitty cat's favor? Uh, 
I do have headphones on. Yes, it sounds like I have a contented kitty very near. Um, I guess we'll block the actual creature. Okay, well, that's something, I guess. Hot blooded. Let's see what they have first, because if they have something bad, uh, Chandra is very awkward. This guy's fine. They have four, so they can. If they play this, yeah, we're getting rid of that. Um, yeah, that can stay on top. So they have to basically block, right? Well, I guess they have to block this guy. They can take five, and then they just have. Yeah, we'll just attack with Reggie here. Like, I like getting the, uh, I like getting the elementals off the board because they do have things like Chandra. So they could have the plus two plus Oda elementals. What can I get back here? Watch it be like no creatures in my graveyard. Tomebound Lich? That's pretty awkward. That's a yikes for me, dog. I guess it still gets it back. Put all my creatures to the front. Wait. Wait, why can't I? Oh, there. I was like, wait, why can't I target it? Oh my god, that's so sad. So we talk about everything because these two are loose. So like, they can literally just block here, and then they no, they have to block this guy, and they have to block one other guy. So, are we dead? Oh, we might be dead actually. Oh, they have to block two things. Because they can't do Calvocade and 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 uh, the Skittering Scamp here, Scorchering, Scampering Scorcher, whatever. They can't do both. So they play this guy. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, which is fine. Seven, eight. Oh, that. See, okay. If if you have a four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you just happen to draw shock. Oh, this is exactly... Oh, oh, wow, this card is insane. Okay, well, that's the thing, I guess. Well, that's a lot different than I thought it was. You take way more. That is correct. That is correct. That is awkward for everyone. Yeah, I guess Ritual of Soot is a little more valuable... Uh, I think we just want to get the bird off the board whenever we can. This deck doesn't have much removal. Like, it literally has, like, none, I think? None removal? I think we had Cavalier of, of, of Night, the Black Cavalier, but I think that's it. There's another code for you guys, so you guys can grab it. Grab the code. That's what I always say. I will play first. Oh yeah, we'll keep this hand. This hand's great. Except for the Dracu set, but other than that. The codes are for M20 packs. That was rude. You're being rude, opponent. Let me see what you got here. Oh, a little Spitfire and a Cavalcade? I'm gonna take the Cavalcade here. That card seems pretty scary. 
Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna greedily bottom this because I think we can, I think we can get there with Reggie. Oh, this card also triggers this, doesn't it? Oh man, that's crazy, dude. I'm really surprised that the red deck got like, it not only got these two tools, but it also got this card, which is much better against. I'm trying to block here. There we go. Oh, they just, I think they're just trying to light up the stage here. Uh, Dracu Seth. Easy, easy game. Enter tapped. Attack for 9,000. This card's just unbelievable. Like, Rotting Registor, it's like, the, the downside is high. Like, being, having to discard a card every turn is high. Alright, land. Oh, that's not a land. We're gonna hold that so we can discard it next turn. What's Cavalcade? Oh, this deck right here, the one we're playing against. Sure, I don't doubt that. I mean, the red decks are strong. The red decks were strong before M20, and now they have, like, this card that deals 9 million damage. Uh, this deck is actually a friend of mine's. His name is John Medina. He actually was on the Freshly... Not the Freshly... The, the uh, podcast that he called Untapped. So we can either just have double seven sixes and really force them to like. I think that's probably better, but then like one land and bond is so much better. I'm just gonna hold off and we're gonna try to bond next turn because you just went on the spot with bond and Dracu Seth. Whereas like they could necessarily like put two, two, three, three, one ones into play, double block, keep a blocker, you know, deal us. Oh God. Okay, it's just eight or four. It's all good. Okay. Just gotta hit a land here. Oh, dragon boys. Two attackers. Face this guy, this guy. Got him! Uh, have I ever thought of recording my videos in 4K? I don't have a 4K... Uh, I guess I don't need a 4K camera. Um, Maybe? I'd worry about... The only thing I'd worry about is the bandwidth. And it already takes me, like, a long time to upload videos as, as they are now. Uh, I could give it a shot. How many packs do we have now? Just one Guilds of Ravnica pack. Do I have everything from this set? Let's find out. Nope, not yet. Well, I don't think that has any bearing. I still might have everything they just might have given me. I think someone else said Caleb started recording in 4K. No blue, which is awkward. Can you imagine the giant ears of 4K quality? I wanted to die from how long everything took. Oh, so the difference is like, does Caleb put his videos on YouTube? I'm gonna still keep this hand, I think it's fine. I don't love it, but... That's a yikes for me, dog. All right, well. <laughs> he 
<laughs> you have nice skin, but I don't need to see every pore. Well, you know what, buddy? Now you're going to get it. Pore time, buddy. Okay, so I can actually play this guy, sack the lands. That's actually not the worst turn I could think of. I'm blooded. I hear the sea. Casual 10 damage. Yeah, this is the rough part about Lotus Field because now we have no way. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We're already like dead on board. Yep. That was not ideal. Lotus Field is great. It's just not a great early drop because it's going to compete with a lot of the cards you want to be playing. This guy and this guy. Bringing all the guys in. The Registrar does not seem great here. Neither does Glow Spore Shaman really. I'll keep it. I'll deal with it. Reginald! Alright, we need a third land that is not... Maybe Lotus Field isn't as good as I thought it would be. Uh, I wonder if we also have 25 lands in this deck. Gideon seems hard to deal with, I'll be honest. If I could play Ritual of... No, I wouldn't even do it. This guy gets indestructible, doesn't he? Oh, it comes into play tapped, which is unfortunate. However, one more land and we get to bond. Oh yeah, Lotus Field coming into play untapped would be insane. Because you just go turn three, tap, tap, Lotus Field, tap. And you get five mana on turn three. It's literally a, a two mana ramp spell for every single deck. It automatically becomes a soul ring. I believe in you, friend. Um, we're actually gonna block the three because if they have a shock then we don't automatically just lose our is not <sighs> how did you get the cat you got to do the mastery thing they want to start streaming at work so they bought me a capture card oh that's that's gas 
Uh, guess we'll just play this. I am Talio. It is an honor to meet you. Return a card from a graveyard to your hand. Can I cancel this? Like, if I if I hit the wrong one, do I cancel? Okay, good. Let's just try to hit something else. Let's try to hit like. I don't know. Uh, we have a ritual. I mean, Noxious Grasp. Wow, that was a lot of Dracu sets. So if we can hit a land, like, it's actually not bad. We get to go four to this guy. We actually can, at four to their face, we can attack the... We'll see. Five. That's a totally reasonable life total to be at. Yeah, that's fine. Land off the top. That's all we want. Also, Gideon's at seven, which is a lot, but. Oh boy. Alright, well, that'll do. Alright. <laughs> Our record has not been ideal with this deck, unfortunately. John said he brought he played it to like diamond, and I'm just not. I don't think I love the Lotus Field. I think it's it's I think it's it's preventing us from having three drops and we have some very good three drops. Everything else seems okay though. I wish we did have more. I don't know if I like thought erasure that much. I don't feel. I think it's a, it's a great blue black card, but I don't feel like it's doing anything for our deck. What's a good, like, two slash three drop? Like, I'm tempted to play, like... Yeah, we had Forest in the deck, so we could have hit Forest, but that was... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I was thinking that same thing, because I'm like, I don't want to really want to go to three. Not red. Oh, Charter Course seems good, yeah. I wish Anticipate put cards in the graveyard. That would be great. Skinny Love, what's going on? Oh, Callus is it was me. No, you said something stupid. Your suggestion was dumb. You were suggesting, like, Stitcher's supplier. Uh, the Surveil Split card in Blue Black? That one's actually pretty okay. Uh, Connive. Is it two ones or one? I spell Connive. Oh, I have it on. I have it set. It's. I was right. It's just set to two. Gain control of a creature with power two or less. Surveil throw the return creature. Return creature. The problem is we want to give it haste, so we like bond a revival a lot. Uh, what is the two mana surveil? I forgot what it was called. Oh my god! I'll just search for surveil. Discovery dispersal. There it is. That seems better, actually. Better than Thought Erasure because it puts things in the graveyard. So it, you know, actually, is Lazav a card we want here? If Rayman has X, if his name is Lazav, it's legendary edition when it has his ability. Oh, it's converted mana cost seven, though. You have to like, pay seven. 
and we don't actually have that many creatures that I really don't like glow spore shaman I would rather actually take the glow spore shamans out play four discovery dispersal and then we still get two uh, two slots here Oh yeah, Charter Course definitely lets us get rid of things. And then if we want to attack instead, we can do that. <sighs> I guess we can get rid of the Surveil. Yeah, it might just be two Charter Course, actually. But I feel like we took out a lot of... Like, Glowspore Shaman still holds down the fort. Uh, I definitely don't think you have to worry about any graveyard hate. There's nothing there's nothing in standard that's really like that's doing doing any graveyard shenanigans really. Even though Monarch Amoeba is legal, keep in mind, guys. I do like I almost like negate over Veil of Summer. Veil of Summer is a card that's like it seems cute, but it never really does anything. Whereas I'd really rather just counter like a Kaya's Wrath if they have it. Uh, Cry of the Kronam is good. We have Ritual of Soot, which I think is also fine. Maybe Cry is better, though. I'm trying to think of like what we've, what we've lost to previously. Cry doesn't actually kill our Rotting Regisaur, which is a big deal. Uh, I demand you get a wide-faced cat and name him Sir Reginald III. Oh, God. I don't need any more pets. Okay, so we need two more slots. It might just be Glow Spore Shaman. We basically played Thought Scour with Discovery, which I think is better for us. I don't love this card because it just mills you for three. It's a three one, which is great, but it mills you for three. And like, you, I've never put a land on top of my library with this. Thief of Sanity might just be good because it's good. I don't think it actually does anything for our decks particularly. But we'll try it like this. We'll give it one more match and we'll try it like this. Um, we'll keep this hand. Ooh, woohoo. All right, black, white. I'm your dad. Oh, really? You're going to show up fashionably late to the party? Search for Azkanta? Oh, what are we getting rid of here? Probably a land. I think we can spare a land. Or another, or another Lichy Boy. I think we'd probably want all of these big things. Yeah, I think we can get rid of a land. I think we actually took out all of the double black cards. Um, without Cavalier of Night, is it, is it Cavalier of Night? Without Cavalier of Night, we actually have only uh, single black cards, so that's good. Well, that's that's rude. Oh, it turns out it actually is. It's not some kind of unique, really original uh, black-white deck. It's just 
it's just Esper. So, you know, like you do. Do we return something? Let's return a land, actually. The story cast holds Hunter needs a gentry name like Lord Barkington III, Earl of Bark Sylvania. <laughs> actually, that says Bark Salvanina, which is probably in the Mediterranean somewhere. Alrighty then. Uh, let's go overgrown tomb. Enter tapped. Do we have any? Do we have any bonds yet? No, our graveyard is three tome bound liches, a land, and an elf. That's interesting. Wait, why is our? Hmm. Oh, because these are the four cards, and then yeah, okay, that makes sense. What was the quote again? Standard isn't a healthy place. There's lots of diversity or something. Nah, yeah, it's I I I didn't agree with them when they said that. <laughs> Uh, I think by diversity it means you can literally sleeve up any event you like and take it to an event if you're comfortable facing Esper Control five rounds in a row. If that's fine with you, super diverse. Interesting. That's a one for one. Not even a one for one. Um, can I submit zero? It's not highlighted, so I, I guess I can't. Uh, I don't actually want to draw this, though. I'm just going to decline here. Oh, interesting. It's your boy. Uh, put them on the battlefield. Oh, it comes into play untapped? Yeah, I'll pay two life for that, dude, for sure. I'm known for my excellent timing. Bah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have nine mana, so we can go Tamio and Revivale. I really wish we had a Drakkie Seth in the yard. Maybe we can. Maybe all this can be ours. Come on, one time Drakkie Seth. Let's get. Well, I guess we're I guess we're gonna search for Escanta because we know it's there, so. Oh, we're doing it! Oh, I'm so excited we're gonna be doing it. Wait, do we not have enough? One, two, three, four. Oh my god, we're not doing it. I totally lied to you guys. One, one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? I thought we had nine mana. Well, that was sad. Can this is just uh, deals damage to that player and you gain two life? Sure. I could have sworn we had ten mana. I guess, I guess the joke's on me. Wait, one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four. So okay, yeah, all right. I guess I just miscounted. That's sad. So we sad. Need to move quickly. Is this the Dracu deck? Is that the Seth ver is Dracu Seth version? You tell me. Right on schedule. Right on schedule. I wanna tuck your Tamio. You ready? I can I bounce that. Nice. Okay. Good for you. Good for you. Mm-hmm. Oh. Stop interrupting me. 
But for real though, stop interrupting her, that's rude. Uh, let's do this jobby. Uh, target player. Uh, we'll just shoot you, you, and you. Sure. No. Okay. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Uh, one, two, three. Let's play search here and plus Tamio, I guess. Let's go for Bond. One, two. There's two Bonds in the graveyard. How many Cavaliers? Two Cavaliers in the graveyard, too. I think Bond is still probably one of the better choices we can hit. No Bonds today, my friends. I mean, they're basically at a point where they have to have... And now if they double attack Tamiya, we can just get back a Bond, so... Is Teferi streaming on Frank's? Yeah, it's uh, it's every round you hear him, so that's how you can tell. These two, followed by Kaya's Wrath. Or followed by a Concession, I guess. Didn't expect that. Every time I tune in, you're playing against Esper. Yup. Yup. I'm gonna take Elves out. I think it's weird. But I also think it's good. Uh, Registrar Alpha is actually a hell of a threat. We can take Glispor Shaman out for Shifty Boy. Probably take out Discovery Dispersal for, like, just bring in all the threats and just make them have ways to to kill all our guys, right? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not 60. Oh, other Carnage Tyrant. Got him. Have you thought about not playing against Esper? I've considered it. Um, I haven't really finalized my opinion yet. I'll keep this. Bunch of lands. Turn through Reginald. Good deal. Okay. Take it easy. Well, I guess we don't get Reginald anymore. So long, little Reginald. Oh, they took the bond. Well, jokes on you, I have an answer for Reginald. Oh. Whatever, dude. Oh, tell me, tell me bound. Tell me bound McLitcherson. Uh, let's get rid of Overground Tomb. They have no white? Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about Kaya's Wrath next turn. That's interesting. Um, I'm actually just going to get rid of Breeding Pool here. All right. I'll just name Bond. 
No bonds were had today. Oh boy. Well, I don't know, man. Sometimes you win against Esper. Oh, that's that's saucy. Did you did you think they gave us this because they knew we were playing this? That's pretty cool. Let's open this pack of M20, and then we'll end this video. Oh, leaves that. All right. Either way, I think this is. I like this configuration. I do like. Um, Rotting Registrar was definitely a uh, key to s some victories. I think Surge for Azkant is a good longer-term card. Discover Dispersal seems just better than Thought Erasure. Like, Thought Erasure is a great card, but I really want the card that's going to help us further our plan rather than disrupt theirs. Uh, so I think those were some si some solid changes that we made. And uh, I, I think the deck is fun. I, I, I think Dracu said this is pretty insane. Uh, 7 damage, then 4 damage, then 3 damage, and 3 damage. Like, that's a lot of damage that you're just dealing in one swing. And as a 7-7, seven, seven, it's pretty it's pretty nuts. So thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out at manatraders.com. You can check me out at coolstuffinc.com. I had an article up last week about Golos in Legacy. Definitely check that out. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.